guys, it's Jen with CreativelyHomemade.com. Today I have for you a tutorial to make a cute little matchbox Ghirardelli chocolate treat. Um, my daughter is in middle school and so she's way too old for the typical holiday class parties, but she still likes to give little treats to her friends for the holidays. So this is perfect for kids to hand out to their friends, or if you have younger kids, you can make these for class parties, or you can even make these for your coworkers. Um, just something little to let people know you're thinking about them during the holiday season. So the flap, the matchbox flap, is held by, in place by these two little mittens and you just slide it out and there is the chocolate inside. They are super simple to make but they are oh so cute and who doesn't love chocolate, right? So let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, we're going to start by cutting our paper. I have a strip of crumb cake cardstock here that is two and a quarter inches by eight inches long and that is going to form the base for our matchbox uh, candy holder. And then you need some designer series paper rectangles. Now I'm using the Be Merry designer series paper which has a ton of cute Christmas designs in it. It's all red and green, perfect for your holiday crafting. You can use any of the designs in it you like. Some really, really cute ones. So I'm just using this green design. You need to cut that to two inches by two and a quarter inches for one of them, and the other one needs to be two inches by one and three quarter inches. And then you're going to need a scrap of Whisper White cardstock to do your stamping. So the next thing you want to do is to score your crumb cake cardstock strip. You want to put the long edge against the top of your scoreboard or your paper trimmer if you have a scoring blade on your paper trimmer. And you want to score it at two inches and you want to score it again at five and a half inches. And that's all you need to use your scoreboard for so you can set that aside. And go ahead and fold that in. Okay, so now we're going to do all our stamping. I am going to stamp a little Merry Christmas sentiment on the inside of our matchbook, matchbook treat. So for that one, I'm using the Merry Christmas sentiment from the Better, Better Together stamp set. This is kind of an all-purpose stamp set that's great to have on hand. Um, it's got birthday, sympathy, Christmas, wedding, whatever. So it has a lot of good choices for sentiments for your cards. So I am just going to use the Merry Christmas and I'm stamping that in real red on the inside of the matchbook. Right up at the top. Okay, and then for the rest of the stamping, I'm just going to stamp on a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. You need that sent the sentiment from the Smitten Mittens stamp set, the one that says, May you have many merry moments surrounded by those you love. And then you're also going to need the two little mittens. So I'm stamping the sentiment in Garden Green. And then I've got both little mittens on one block so I can stamp them at the same time and I'm stamping those in real red. Okay, and we are going to die cut both of those pieces. So let me grab my die cut machine and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my die cut machine all ready to go and to cut out those stamped images. I'm using two different um, die sets to cut these out. I'm using the stitch circle from the stitch shapes die set. I'm going to use the middle one and I'm going to cut the sentiment out with that. And then I'm also using the die set that coordinates with the Smitten Mittens stamp set. This is called the Mini Mittens die set and it has these two little tiny mittens that will cut out the small mittens stamp shapes. I'm just going to use a tiny little bit of washi tape to ensure that those dies don't slip while they're running through.
So just line it up just like so. Make sure the sentiment is lined up and then I'm going to run that through. And hopefully you can see there's like a little stitched border all the way around the sentiment now which is super cute. So I'm going to set my die cut machine aside and I'll show you how to finish up assembling these matchbooks. Okay, so now we're ready to put our little matchbooks together. You're going to need some snail adhesive, some Stampin' Dimensionals, and some mini glue dots as your adhesive. You're also going to need a little Ghirardelli chocolate square and you're going to need some ribbon. I am using Cherry Cobbler double stitched ribbon for this. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the chocolate into the middle of our matchbook. I am just using mini glue dots to help hold that in place. You want to be able to um, have people pull that off easily, but you want to hold it in place while you're transporting it. So I'm just going to put four mini glue dots on there. And that will hold it in place, but it won't make it impossible to remove. So I'm just adding a glue dot in each of the corners. Now these are the regular glue dots that Stampin' Up! carries. I just picked up an, um, a dispenser at Michael's that works very nicely so I don't have to mess with the cardboard box. Uh, glue Dots is the company that makes our glue dots for Stampin' Up! anyway, so it's the same brand. So just put your um, Ghirardelli chocolate square right in the middle there and then it's going to fold up like this. So now we're ready to decorate the other side. So the longer flap is going to be the top and that's where we're going to put our sentiment. So you want to put the taller square of designer series paper there and you can just use snail adhesive to adhere that. So I'm just adding some adhesive to the back and lining that up and you're going to have a nice little border all the way around that designer series paper and then you're going to re repeat the same process for the bottom rectangle and you're going to use your smaller piece of designer series paper okay so then we are going to put the sentiment up near the top of the top flap. Just like so. And then we are going to put our little mittens on the bottom. Now I recommend having this folded up you're going to be putting a Stampin' Dimensional on the bottom of each mitten. You want it all the way at the very bottom of the cuff. And this is going to hold that top flap in place. They're going to tuck that top flap beneath these mittens. And that will hold it closed. So I just added dimensionals down at the bottom. And then peel off the adhesive of both. Okay, and then keeping it closed, you just want to kind of look at it from the side. You don't want the Stampin' Dimensional to be on the top flap at all, but you want it pushed up right to the edge so that that mitten piece will stick over and hold that flap in place. And then repeat that process for the other mitten. And see that, whoops, that forms a little... Um, area where you can tuck that in and it holds it in place because the Stampin' Dimensional holds those mittens up just enough to hold the top flap in place. And the last thing you need to do is to tie a tiny little bow with your double stitch ribbon. I recommend using quarter inch ribbon. Um, you can use whatever color you want but just make it a small ribbon because you don't want it to be too big. And then put a piece or put a glue dot on the back of your little bow and then stick it right up at the top there. You might have to move the little tails out of the way so that you can still read the sentiment. 
So that's all there is to it. It's a quick and easy holiday treat to make for friends and coworkers this holiday season to let them know that you're thinking of them. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like the materials I used to make this um, little matchbook treat, I used the Smitten Mittens stamp set and the coordinating die set. And if you would like to get either of those, the links are down in the description box below. And if you would like written instructions on how to make these treats, that link is down there as well. If you would like to see more Christmas crafts like this, I will be sharing them all next month and into December. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.